broken a little bit this morning. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's going to clear up enough to show you guys some neat stuff along the way. And uh, tonight I'm just over in Holberg. It's not that far away. It's a small little login and um, D&D, which is Department of Defense uh, town from days gone by. There's a little pub in there with some new owners and they created some little adventure huts. So I've got one booked for tonight. We'll see how that works out. At least if anything, it's a place where I can dry my stuff out. Normally I don't sleep with any food in my camping area with the amount of bears that are here. However, certain products can kind of work if you are careful with it. Uh, last night, I put one of these grind packages in my pocket to keep it warm because they turn pretty hard in, in the cool weather. So I'm going to have this on tortillas this morning to make a quick getaway and get out of here. So come with me. Even with all the rain, this is what bikepacking is all about. Quiet. And yes, I get stuff all over my mustache all the time. Forgive me if I don't have a makeup artist along the way. It'd be a tall order if I had one. I'd have to pay them a lot. You know, just look at me. Well, the rain hasn't let up. 
it's gotten worse. The wind has picked up. I put my drone up once and it was just brutal today. I'm rolling down into Holberg. The weather is not improving. I wanted to show you guys some pretty cool areas in Cape Scott and Grant Bay, but in this weather it's just gonna be horrible. So I'm gonna save that for another day, another trip. I'm gonna make Holberg my turnaround point. I'm gonna dry out tonight in an adventure hut and uh, make my way back down to a pickup point and uh, call it a trip. Probably still be another couple of days though after I'm making this announcement here. So we'll, uh, we'll get some more video out to you anyway. Maybe this episode, maybe another episode after. I'm not sure. Ibis Pub in Holberg has got some new owners and they've been building these great little adventure huts, quite reasonably priced for the wayward traveler heading on through. I lucked out and the time I was here, they were working with a brand new chef and I was treated to a big, massive meal. A special thanks to everybody at the pub for my wonderful stay. the warm toasty adventure huts my camera gear did not my lenses were prone to fogging and it took almost two weeks for my drone to clear up sitting in a box of rice No matter what the reason, it's always tough to pull the plug on a ride. What sunshine I'm getting right now is going to be short-lived and it's gonna get socked in pretty heavy. So I'm opting to not go out to a couple of cool places and show you nice, wonderful video of rain. I will have to save another portion of this trip for next year. People have asked why I use a suspension for bikepacking. Well, when I go fast, I can take a punch. There's a reason why I don't wear headphones when I'm out on logging roads.
just taking my exit ride after turning around on Holberg and hold up here in an old spur road. I ate while I was at the log dump so I didn't have to cook anything tonight and it's just going to be a chill little evening. I'm going to go for a walk and see if I can get some aerial footage while I'm at it. to like subscribe click on those notifications go over to salty bear's website check things out you know do the whole roundy round thing and we'll see you next time later